Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this Yorkshire Terrier, which was a request from quite a while ago. When crocheted in 8 ply wool, this one, the size is 18 centimetres by 13 centimetres or 7 inches by 5 inches. This medium dog, when crocheted in 4 ply crochet cotton, is 11.5 centimetres by 8 centimetres or 4.5 inches by 3 inches and this small dog crocheted in 2 ply crochet cotton is 9 centimetres by 7 centimetres or 3.5 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. I did have trouble getting the right colours in all of the different yarns. Now I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton for this one. I've got tan for my main colour, black for the eyes and nose, dark brown for the back marking. I need the tiniest bit of red for the mouth and I've got cream for the face markings and chest marking. I've got a 1.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors, thread and a needle to stitch it together and to embroider a dot on the eyes and the markings on the feet. Now I'm going to start with the head. So using my tan, I work 11 chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have ten stitches. A single crochet is called a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet I put my hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with that yarn at the end through both loops. So one single crochet into each stitch. For row two, you start with one chain and turn your work over and work one single crochet into each of the ten stitches. For row 3, you start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end.
For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the first stitch then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 12 stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the first stitch then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 14 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end.
For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. And we'll have 16 stitches. So, two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11, we start with one chain and turn, and we work one single crochet into each of our 16 stitches. Now that's the bottom part of the head. We're going to work a neatening row around the sides and the bottom and then we'll work the top part of the head. So for the neatening row start with one chain and work one single crochet in the first stitch then work two chain and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Just find a suitable place to put your hook, not too far from the edge, and then work two chain and a single crochet into the next stitch. That will just give it a little bit of a furry finish. We're going to repeat that right around to the top. So two chain and a single crochet into the next stitch. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get to this corner here. Now I've worked my neatening row right round the sides and the bottom. Now I'm going to start on the top. I work one slip stitch into each of the first three stitches. For a slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch, bring the loop through and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So one slip stitch into each of the first three stitches. And then I work one chain. Next I work a single crochet in the same stitch as that chain. And then I work one single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. For row 2, I work 1 chain and turn, and I work 1 single crochet into each of my 12 stitches.
For row 3, we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one double crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then work one half double crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the following stitch, one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch, a double crochet into the next one, a half double crochet into the following stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the head done. We're not going to fasten off, we're going to work this first ear now. So into our corner we're going to work our ear. We're going to work a single crochet just at the top of the corner. And then a half double crochet about halfway down the side into the corner bit we work one double crochet, then work a half double crochet about halfway up the next side and then a single crochet just into the top of that corner part. And that's our first row done. For row two we start with two chain and turn our work we work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. Now we're going to join in the cream colour for that last row of the year. So I join it in there Pull it as tight as I can and work two chain. And turn my work. And I'm going to work a joined half double crochet over my three stitches. So I put the yarn around my hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then I fasten off. And that's the first ear done. For the second ear, 
I join just at the end of my corner. So just where I finish doing the neatening row. And work one chain and one single crochet in the same place as the chain. Then work a half double crochet about halfway down the side there. A double crochet into the corner. A half double crochet about halfway up the side and a single crochet into the top of the side. For row two we start with two chain and turn the work. Work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. Then we join in our cream and work two chain and work a joined half double crochet over the three stitches. and fasten off. And that's the head done. Now I'm going to start on this beard now. I've got my cream and I make a magic loop. For a magic loop I put the hook on my cotton, bring the short end over the hook, then take the long end over the short end to make a circle, put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop. Then I work one chain and work four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row two I start with one chain and turn and I work two single crochet into each stitch and I'll have eight stitches. So two single crochet into each stitch. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. And then I work 1 single crochet into the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the following stitch. And I repeat that to the end of the row. So one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the following stitch to the end of the row. For row four, I start with one chain and turn I work one single crochet into the first stitch and then I work two chain and 
a single crochet into the next stitch. And I repeat that three more times, two chain and a single crochet into the next stitch. Two chain, a single crochet into the next stitch. And two chain, and a single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm just going to start on this little bead part. So I work two chain and I work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then work a single crochet into my next stitch from row three. And then I work three chain. I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each of the two remaining chain. And work a single crochet into the next stitch. And for my last beard part I work two chain, miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into the next one and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Then I work two chain and work a single crochet into my next stitch to the end of the row. So two chain and a single crochet. And when I get to the end of the row I fasten off. And that's the beard done. Now I'll be back with my red for the mouth and my black and we'll work them. Now for the mouth, using my red I make a magic loop. and work three chain and I work five double crochet into my circle. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So five double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the mouth. For the eyes, I make two. I've got my black and I make a magic loop. And work one chain and work Four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And I need another one the same. I make a magic loop and work one chain and work four single crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. and fasten off. Now 
And for the nose, using my black, I make a magic loop. And work two chain and work four half double crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the nose. Now I'll be back with my tan and we'll work the first part of the moustache. Now for the moustache, using my tan, I work three chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and I work two single crochet into each stitch. I'll have four stitches, so two single crochet into each stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the following stitch. And one treble into the last stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble, put the yarn around the hook twice. Hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through the next two loops and yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn through the remaining two loops. And then we fasten off. That's the first side of the first part of the moustache done. Next we Join our tan cotton on the wrong side of the back loop of our chain. So we've got our tail here, so we join just in the loop after the tail. And we work one chain, we work one single crochet into the same stitch as the chain and one single crochet into the next stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into each of our two stitches. We'll have four stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work a single crochet into the first stitch, a half double crochet into the next stitch, a double crochet into the following stitch, and a treble into the last stitch. and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in those ends 
and I'll be back with the cream and we'll work these parts for the end. Now this is the right side of my moustache so I join my cotton, I've got my cream cotton in the first stitch on one end. I work one chain and a single crochet into the same stitch as a chain. Then I work four chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining three chain. I slip stitch into the top of the single crochet, then I work five chain, I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining chain. Slip stitch into the top of the single crochet. And then work one single crochet into the next stitch along the moustache. And then I repeat those two. I work four chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining chain. Slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and work five chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining chain. Slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and then Work a single crochet in the next stitch along the moustache. And then I repeat that one more time. I work four chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the top of the single crochet. And then work five chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the top of the single crochet. Work a slip stitch on the last stitch of the moustache and fasten off. Now the second side has worked the same as the first side. We join our cream cotton into the first stitch and work one chain and then work one single crochet into the same stitch as a chain then we work four chain we miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each 
chain to the end. Slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and then work five chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and then work a single crochet in the next stitch along the moustache and then work four chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and then work five chain. Miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each remaining chain. and a slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and then work one single crochet into the next stitch along the moustache and work four chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and work five chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and then work a single crochet into the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the moustache done. Now we'll work this fringe now. It's all worked in cream but we work the one side first and then the other side. We start with three chain. We work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Then we're going to work a joined single crochet over the same stitch as our single crochet in the last stitch. So work a joined single crochet over the second and third chains. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over both our stitches. and then work one single crochet in that last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into each stitch. We'll have four stitches. So two single crochet into each stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and we work 
one single crochet into each of our four stitches. Now we're going to start on the edging here. It's worked fairly similar to the moustache edging. The only difference is we have extra chain. So we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in the first stitch and then we work six chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. And we work a slip stitch into the top of our single crochet. Then we work seven chain We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. And we slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and then we work one single crochet in the next stitch along row four and then we, re we repeat this again. We work six chain, we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain and slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and then work seven chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and then work a single crochet in the next stitch along and work six chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and then work seven chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and then work one single crochet into that last stitch and fasten off. And that's the first side of the fringe. For the second side of the fringe we join our cotton on the right side in the first stitch, just near that tail there.
and work one chain, work a joined single crochet over both stitches, and then work one single crochet into that last stitch, the same stitch as the last part of our joined single crochet. For row two, we work one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the first stitch and the last stitch. That just slopes our work up a bit. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into each stitch. We'll have four stitches. For row four we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into the first stitch. Now this side is worked the same as this other side. We start with 6 chain We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. and slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and then work seven chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Work a slip stitch into the top of the single crochet and then work one single crochet into the next stitch along row four. And then we work six chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and work 7 chain. Miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the top of the single crochet and work a single crochet into the next stitch along row 4 and then work 6 chain We miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch into each remaining chain Slip stitch in the top of the single crochet 
and then work seven chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. Work a slip stitch in the top of the single crochet from row the beginning of the stitch and then a single crochet in the last stitch of row 4 and fasten off. And that's the fringe done. Now I'll be back with my tan to do the body. Now for the body, using my tan, I start with 12 chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 11 stitches. So miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and I'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 12 stitches. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 13 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch 
then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work three single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work three single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 17 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 19 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row seven, we start with two chain and turn and we work two half double crochet into the first stitch. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 20 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn, 
and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches. Then work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row nine, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end and we'll have 22 stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 23 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 23 stitches.
for row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 23 stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 23 stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 22 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined single crochet put your hook in the first stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 21 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we've got two stitches left.
and work a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 20 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 20 stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 20 stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 19 stitches.
for row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 18 stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. and then work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. Now we're going to start on this leg here, the middle leg. So we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the first five stitches. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. And for row 4 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and we work two double crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off. Now for this front leg, we join our tan cotton in the stitch after our other leg and work one chain. We work a joined single crochet over our first two stitches and then one single crochet into each of our remaining stitches and we'll have five stitches. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches 
and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and we work two single crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the front two legs done. For the back leg, we turn our work and we join our cotton to the fifth last stitch. So in there, and work one chain, work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain, and then one single crochet into each remaining stitch and we'll have five stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 4 we start with three chain and turn our work. We work one double crochet into each of the first three stitches one treble in the next stitch. For a treble put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning of the stitch and two treble into the last stitch. And that's the body done except for a neatening row. For a neatening row we start with one chain and we work one single crochet into each stitch around our work I'll be crocheting over all the tails so I'll hold them against my work and crochet over the top of them as I go around so I'm just working a single crochet into each stitch right around my work
So I'll continue around and I'll be back when I get back to the join. Now I'm back round to the beginning of the row so I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the body done. I'll start on the back marking now so I'll need my dark brown and I start with 12 chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. And then work one half double crochet into the next stitch. And one double crochet into the last stitch. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 12 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with three chain and turn. We work two double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following four stitches. and one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. For row four, we start with five chain. Now we're going to work this little point there, the first point, we slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. We work one half double crochet into the next chain, 
one double crochet into the following chain and a treble into the last chain. And then we flip the work around and we slip stitch into the third stitch along row three. So we miss the first two and slip stitch into the next one. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row six, we start with six chain We're starting on the second point part. We slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. We work one single crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into the following stitch a double crochet into the next stitch and into our last chain we'll work one treble And then we flip our work around and we slip stitch in the third stitch along. And that's the first two sections done. And then we work 10 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. One single crochet into the next chain. And then work one half double crochet into each remaining chain.
then slip stitch into the next stitch on row 5, slip stitch into the following stitch and we turn our work and work one half double crochet into each of the first six stitches up the side here. So a half double crochet into each of the first six stitches. Then work three chain, work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. One single crochet into the next chain and then a slip stitch in to the top of our half double crochets and fasten off. And that's the first parts of our back marking done. Now we join our dark brown cotton to our first stitch. And we'll work the remaining two parts. We start with four chain. We slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Work one single crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the following stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch on row 5. So just in there. We work one single crochet into the next stitch and work three chain. We work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet into the next chain. and slip stitch into each remaining stitch on row 5 and fasten off. Now I'm just going to do a neatening row from this corner here around to about halfway up this first point. So I join my dark brown cotton in, in the back of the first chain and work one chain and then work one single crochet in that same stitch as a chain and then I'll work a single crochet in the back of the chain along the top there. I'm going to crochet over my end so I'm holding them against the work and crocheting over the top of them.
when I get to the corner, I'm going to work two single crochet into some stitches. So I've got a little bit of a nicer corner. And now I'm going to work one slip stitch into each of the next, probably two stitches, and then fasten off. And that's the back marking done. I'll be back with my cream and we'll do this little chest marking. Now for this front marking, Using my cream, I work a chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. I work three single crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We should have three stitches left. For row two, we start with three chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. And then work one single crochet into the first stitch. And then we work four chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain and work a single crochet into our next stitch. And then we work three chain. We miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each remaining chain and work a single crochet into the next stitch. And then we repeat that four chain, miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each remaining chain. And work a single crochet into our next stitch and then work three chain. Miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each remaining chain and a single crochet into our next stitch. And then work four chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain and a single crochet into our next stitch along and then work three chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain and a single crochet into our next stitch. And then we work four chain 
increase the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. And a single crochet into the next stitch and then work three chain. Press the first chain and work a single crochet, uh, sorry, a slip stitch into each remaining chain and then a single crochet into our last stitch and fasten off. And that's all our pieces worked. So I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's all my pieces. I've got the head, the beard, the body, the body marking, the chest marking, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, a moustache and the fringe. The first things I'll do is attach the beard to the head. It goes evenly at the bottom. The bottom of the beard sticks over the bottom of the head and I'll attach the back marking to the body just in like that about there and I'll embroider white dots on the eyes. The next thing I'll do is attach the mouth just in the middle of the beard there and I'll embroider these markings on the feet. Next I'll attach the moustache just over the top of the beard and the mouth. I attach the middle part, stitch it down but I leave the fringe part unstitched. And I'll do the same with the fringe. I make sure it's even and I make sure I've got enough space for the eyes and I stitch it down and just stitch a slight bit of the tassels down. Next I attach the nose in the middle of the moustache there and I attach the eyes just in like that. And the last things I do is attach the head to the body and then attach the chest marking. I'll just pull it in a bit like that and then attach it in there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished dog. And there's the finished Yorkshire Terrier. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.